Okay, DJ Vic Vapor with you, Bitwig Studio 2 Drum Machine course. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at organizing and uh, um, arranging our sounds. So we've got our machine loaded, we've accessed our sounds, we've got a good understanding of where we're headed, but things can get pretty chaotic, you know, working uh, with a drum machine and a lot of different samples. So let's take a look at a, a nice uh, few uh, tips and techniques to keep things organized. So if you want, I've got a kick and a snare loaded, some basic stuff here. So let's say I want to move this to a different area. So I can just drag, click, drag, drop, and it'll pretty much, wherever I want to assign it, I can move it to that area. If I hold down the Alt key and drag it, it's going to create a copy for me. So now I have two. Very useful tri trick and uh, technique. If you um, have a lot of different things that you've arranged and built, it's a great way to copy and, and drop them off to another area. So if we want to, uh, currently these are named the same as the um, sample that's been brought over, but if we just highlight the square, whichever one we want to work with here, Command R, and now I can simply make that a kick, and Command R here, we'll make that a snare. And that's pretty important to understand how to uh, label and name things. Because as I said, once you build quite a few different samples into your kit, you're going to want a quick name access to that. And one of the benefits is when you're actually working within the clip itself. So I'm going to come up to our drum machine channel here, and I'm going to double click and create a uh, clip here for us. And then I'm going to open up the clip below. And this is where we're going to start implementing our MIDI notes to trigger the drum machine and, and different patterns that we want. But currently you can see that right now we're just looking at the notes here on display. So it's kind of hard to find out, okay, where did I put my kick? Where did I put my snare? Unless I scroll up and down and look for the names right here, they are. So it's one of the important reasons to go ahead and name it because it's going to be easier to see and notice. But if you, let's say we had a bunch of names going on here, it's still a little tricky to find things. So what you want to do is I'd already had it selected, but sometimes your keyboard's on this right here, and this for sure isn't going to show you anything other than the notes. But you click this little square grid right here. Now it's going to fold everything down to exactly what we have labeled. And you can hear as I add notes, the different sounds, I know exactly what I'm working with. The bottom one's the kick, and the top one is the snare. So pretty easy to keep things organized that way and understand where you're at. And all the different names will continue to list as we build our machine and, list, uh, and build our program full of samples. Now if we go back here to the drum machine, and let's say this time I'm going to command R, I'm going to name this Big Snare. Hit enter. We should be able to see it update in our clip immediately. So now it's a big snare. So again, Titling it and naming it, and the uh, freedom to move things around is a great way to keep yourself organized within your um, programs. So let's go ahead and move on in the course and see what else we can do to keep uh, the drum machine happening in, in great ways for us.